Impact Lounge is the number one YouTube channel for fans of Impact Wrestling. Make, make a, make a, uh, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. It's just a fact of life. BQ here. Make sure to follow me at BQ Speaks on Instagram and Twitter. So Impact Wrestling has announced that September 13th and 14th, they will be taping television at the Fronton Mexico in Mexico City. So this should be some really entertaining television and something very different. Make sure you listen to the very end of this video all the way through because I'm going to let you know how I think this set of tapings is going to pan out. But I'm also going to tell you what I think is my biggest concern for those tapings. Now, I believe the facility holds 4,000 people. But if I know Impact Wrestling, I'm sure they'll set it up for about four to 500 individuals to be in attendance. And I'm sure attendance should be great there in Mexico. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I very well could be, but I don't remember Impact doing much work with Mexico since the Jeff Jarrett era and he was in charge and working with the Crash and AAA quite frequently. There was, of course, a Triple Mania incident where Rosemary was injured by the sexy star armbar. Now, these relationships were some of the positives from the Jarrett GFW era. But speaking of which, if you haven't checked out my thoughts on Jeff Jarrett suing Anthem, check out the card at the top of this video. But not till after you finish this one. So just rewind to this part or you can click the description. I'll put the link in there as well. I want to say that ended with Jeff Jarrett also being drunk in Mexico. I want to say there was an issue with that. So if someone recalls, please let me know in the comments. So how do I think these tapings will play out? Well, this is going to be very interesting because there should be a significant part of the build to Bound for Glory here. Do you guys remember when they were in India for the Slammiversary 2017 build and they left a portion of the roster in the States that were part of the show, part of the pay-per-view? D'Angelo Williams, Scott Steiner, Angelina Love, Alicia Edwards in favor of guys like Rockstar Spud, Swaggle, Mahabali Shira. They were more focused on feel-good moments for the fans than a lot of the pay-per-view build. So I'm curious if they'll bring the whole roster this time around or how it's going to work. Obviously, logistically, it's a lot closer, a lot easier than India. Now, as a Hispanic, I know that the audience is going to be very crazy, very loud, and they have a totally different sense of humor. So I think it's going to make for very entertaining television. Thing is, although there are many tourist spots there, and I would imagine that area is as well, a lot of people in Mexico don't speak English or they speak a very broken version of it. So I think the company will focus more on fast-paced exhibition style of action for the tapings and less promos. If I had to predict the Bound for Glory card, I think we're going to see LAX as the tag team champions defend against the Lucha Brothers. I also think Austin Aries will still be the champion, and I think he's going to defend against Brian Cage. Since Brian Cage is one of those guys he can wrestle the X-Division style, he can tell a story through his ring work, not so much verbally. I think the wrestlers who are very visual storytellers will be a huge part of the tapings. I think we're going to see an increase in that Lucha Underground style of production as well. Probably even a few new and possible returning names. Phantasma, Drago, Aerostar. This would also be a great return spot for Rosemary if healthy, but I don't think she will be. Overall, I expect to see a very visual art of storytelling, very few in-ring promos, and a really good wrestling environment. Now, what is my big concern? That Pentagon and Phoenix could be highly featured in these tapings only to end up with signing with Vince very soon after. They've been responsible for some of the best matches on Impact in the last few months. So from a wrestling standpoint, it would be a big loss in my opinion if they were a big part of that particular set of tapings. The couple previous and all of a sudden Bound for Glory rolls around and the company kind of has to go in a new direction in the next set of tapings. So my big concern is... Too much focus on the Lucha Brothers, who may be gone by the end of the year. But I really think for the set of tapings, it's going to be very, very visual, very fast-paced. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling-related content. This is the Impact Lounge.